Look at those meatballs. They're getting all purpley, getting all brown. See, if you cook them in oil, then they can't really get hard, can they? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I don't know. Anyways, then I guess we'll toss them into our spaghettis. I just want them all sexy brown. I don't know. Well, of course. Do with beef meatballs. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's our goal. We have now transferred the finished purple meatballs over to the uh, bowl here. Look at how tasty they are. I tried one. It's super good. Got all that rosemary and uh, bee balm bergamot and stuff. I don't know the honey bears gonna eat all. All right, I gotta make the herbs for the deliciousness. I got them fresh from the garden. Pop them in there. Got a rosemary. The rosemary and slime. Nah, we don't have any time. Uh, it's somewhere, but I'm just using this here basil bergamot. Uh, my body hurts too much to do that. Yeah, the time really hurts, actually. Yeah, you gotta be like ready for that. You gotta be big action mode. Uh, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, where's the lid? There it is. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. It's that magical time of the evening. Everybody knows what well, you know. When the fans don't get what they want, they get rabid, you know? Like raving rabbits? Yeah, so like... The fans want cooking videos, what can I say? Yeah, they do. We give the fans what they want. Krabby patties, cheese, pickles, lettuce, onions. These ingredients, when combined together, would little known be known as... The Krabby Patty. Turn that down a little. Add some snee snot so it all uh, cooks better. Is that actually true? I don't know. Supposedly keeps it from binding each stock together, or not stock, oh. whatever. Uh, Alright, I'll add my greenies soon. The edamame spirulini. See how this baby grinds this uh, leakies. Oh. Okay. Oh, let me use half. It's a big leak. Freaky leaky. Alright. Mmm, <laughs> matey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wahoo. Not so bad. No. Leeks a lot less than onion. You I gotta remember. Onion's horrible uh, compared to leek. Leek's the gentle giant, you know. Oh yeah, I've taken to uh, cooking any onion or anything we're gonna use. All right, so I'll put a little bit of hemp seed oil because it's so flavorful. So flavorful. Yups. And olive oil. And of course, we're uh, using the uh, base of the oil that we use to make the meat, purple meatballs. Still in the pan. So let's use a bunch of olive oils. Olive oil. Turn that down even more and put this in there. So this is only supposed to cook for like four minutes, apparently. Yeah, well, it's like. What is that, soy? Somewhat. It's um high in iron. Yeah, it is high in iron, baby. It's uh edamame green soybeans spirulina powder. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you probably want to have it with some wheat spaghetti too. It's kind of extreme. A little spaghetti. Put a little spaghetti. rub sage on there. I love rubbing my sage. Um, a little hemp azunis just to make the magic happen. And of course, some manchego cheese we have sitting in our fridge. Just a good recipe for it. 
Oh, yeah. As long as it hasn't gone bad or anything. No, it smells. I tasted it. It tastes fine. If you betray me, Luke, I will be your Skywalker. Oh. Um. Smell that one, too. I will. It smells fine. Okay. I'll even try it just for you. Right. Tastes pretty normal. Alright, there we go. Now we better get this started cooking back here. We'll get it all chopper plopper. Can you get the um, the uh, colander out over there, out of that cupboard, and clean it? Oh, I'm, hold on. It's the rear one. Oh, the colander. Yep. I love coming in colanders. Don't we all? I like to, I like, you know, like the laundry. I like to separate my darks from my whites. I like to separate my thicks from my thins. Mm hmm. Fascinating. Now I have a question. What are they looking for? <laughs> At the sperm bank donation center. What are they looking for? The, the, what, what? What part of it? The thick stuff? The thin stuff? I'm not a scientist. Yeah, what part of the ejaculate? I mean, yeah, well, stuff, well, stuff? I, I mean, that would be admitting people ejaculate different types of ejaculate, and I don't know if the hospital system of 2002 is updated enough to admit that's possible. 2002? Yeah, that's what we're so stuck at. They updated their records? Yes. Now, see here, no one's allowed to have any special genitals, you know. The hospital's not going to track that. If you have an abnormally large clitoris, they're just going to go, uh, that's not enough. No. No, I refuse. I refuse to talk to you. No. Also, Never. Also, prostate exams. No, that's gay. Yep. No, I'm not your doctor. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just, uh, reduce... It says reduce heat and simmer, okay? I'll do that. Then I'll just put it into the, drain it and rinse it, and then uh, mix this in with it, yeah. That is the plan. But who doesn't have somewhat thicker and thinner ejaculate to some extent? Your mom? Um, I don't know. It's like saying you don't have thicker and thinner saliva. I mean, most, I assume, titty milk's different consistencies at different times, it seems like. So yeah, it's just the, what's the way it is. Those videos on YouTube where they say real stunt person observes stunt people and how fake all those are. Real, real cinematographer observes or amateur cinematography or video color grading or whatever. Yeah. Anything. So like, what about um? <laughs> Am amateur, <laughs> amateur, uh, sperm appraiser grades people's sperm, um, their sperm cells. Yes, mm, that's high quality sperm right there. So they like zoom in on it and do all the, 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 oh, then they, uh, you know, check if the sperm can, you know, swim through hoops or not, you know, yeah, right. all the good stuff. Yeah. You introduce the flaming hoops, and you know, you got six stunts. Then he, then he can say, you know, that's some high quality sperm right there. Yeah, so it'll do anything to I, make babies. Listen, I've seen a lot of sperm in my day, and that's some high quality sperm right there. Yep, exactly. Oh, it smells so good. No, oh, it does. Soak it in. <laughs> Put that, uh, little bit of spinach in there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Guess I'll this is simmered for the recommended five minutes, so I'll pour it all in here. Ooh, look at that sliminess. Ooh. Just looks like something Yoda would make for uh, Master Puke. It's what Master Puke would make for baby Yoda in the uh time reversal situation where Master Luke is dying as a creepy old man in the swamp and Yoda is Whoa. Dead. Whoa, it's like a reverse. It's like, what is Star Wars edition, bro? That's so deep, bro.
can't well, even we, handle it anymore. We all know that the unfortunate story of Yoda is he never grows up and he remains a little creepy man. We're all covered in Yeah, it's true. Ties right in, I always say, to the uh, little creepy demon green babies and, uh, and uh, green ring guy, what's he called? With the green ring from DC. Totally, we'll tie it right together. Green Lantern, yeah. Everybody wants it, you know they do. No, not really. I hate that idea. You're the one who's that, not me. No, I just. I'm making fun of how everybody acts like anything that's similar should just be merged. And I don't think so. Slowly cool it off. George Lucas said, bit. There we go. Hey, we came out with this new chick. She's like the daughter of Darth Maul. I mean, well, he was still like around and like, you know, yeah. involved with things way back then in the early 2000s. And so he was like, No, him and her, they need a bang. They're like, No, they're, they're not sexually involved. Him and her, mm. like, you know, like autistic silence. Mm. And, and then they're like, Okay, then. Yeah. That's what I heard. I saw, I watched the video about it and it did look pretty legit. All right, so. I need to take this out, ah, it's still hot, oh! And they were like, but George Lucas is his daughter in the future! I don't care about your plot. She needs to be rewritten as a girlfriend is because she looks like him, I don't know why. Yeah, you're right, yeah. It's a white guy's brain. Talk about hungry, I'm back on my food here. Alright, well, yeah, wow, I made you some dinner then. Some delicious yeah, dinner. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why I said creepy. You like the high in iron spaghetti? Well, you said you were low in iron, so. All right, let's do this. Yes. Pour the spaghetti. Now that Christiana's around, I don't need to make keep some separate. She always likes it plain, like a weirdo. I don't know. She actually likes this stuff, though. Probably. Is it Booker T. Cooker enough? Yes, not, tomorrow. not really. I better crank it up and go a little farther. All right, I'll heat up the meatballs real quick. So, okay, so I'm sitting there. I ate an apple because I was starving at their house. They have organic apples, which is nice. Yeah. Very well. Anyway, so I'm eating the apple. I'm eating it as quiet as I can. I'm across the living room from her in a chair. She starts grinding her teeth because she doesn't want me to to eat my apple. Yeah. While she's uh, resting. Wow, I'm that's like, sensitive. Uh, I told her, I wasn't. Let me check if these meatballs are hot. Go over here. Cut it open. Hmm, still not quite hot enough. They're kind of big meatballs. Next time I'll make them slightly smaller. This is the, this is the normal size. I've never made meatballs before. Mm -hmm. I just figured this was correct, but it's too big. Wow, that's some orange blue. Oh, let me see. Oh, nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm showing them those two flags here. It looks pretty neat. Yep. Oh, those look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> the murpliest of meatballs. Should have popped these in here sooner just so they'd heat up sooner. Whatever, they'll eventually heat up. Sorry. Whatever. 